Weed Snackers, what's going down? We are with Miss Amber from Pretty Tokers. And tell us about your papers. So these are my papers right here. They're for the girlies. They're hemp wraps. They are king size. And then we're working with Enzo. We're sponsored here today. And we have these hemp papers coming soon. It'll be a collaboration. When did you get started? Um, 2016, I created the brand, but I probably got serious in like 2018. And I created the papers, now trying to get it and push it because just from being a trap girl right. <laughs> in New York and like trying to push through the black market, um, now we're just trying to be in the legal market, definitely trying to focus on California. Um, but right now we have our papers on California, Texas, Florida, and all the tri-state area. Where do people get your, where do they find you? Um, on Instagram, it's prettytokers.official. Right on, right on. Yeah. What, what made you decide, I'm starting a paper brand? Um, I mean, honestly, like, I was seeing papers out there, and the Blazy Susan, like, it was cool, or I'm not trying to talk shit or anything, but... You wanted to do your own thing. <laughs> yeah, like, I just wanted to it see something so, for so, girls, yeah. by girls, and, like, as someone who smokes all the time, like, I felt like... This is something that I do, so, so I made it cute. Culture. Yeah, I made you're it straight. cute. Like I didn't have to have like a flavor, or anything. Like I just felt like I wanted a cute situation going on. Right on, right on. <laughs> and so you started in New York. Yeah, I started. I'm still in New York. Still in New York. Still in New York, well, traveling, go, trying to promote everywhere. Did you go to California next? Texas next? Um, so we branched out to California in like Los Angeles and San Francisco, uh -huh. um, and then slowly we went into Florida. We just recently got into so Houston and Texas. Very cool. Um, thanks. Right on. So do you have any, uh, you said a collab this year? Yeah, with Endo. With Endo. Yes. Do you have any other big things for your brand coming up um, this year? I do have a store in New York. It's a crystal boutique. Very cool. Um, so we try to branch the cannabis and the spiritual wellness industries together um, through yoga, Reiki. We have these things called Astro Jays. So they're cannabis infused joints and they're mixed with herbs and they're Reiki infused um, and then they're based on like astrology. So very cool. That I would love to try to introduce that into the California market starting this year. Very cool. Uh, how'd you come up with the name? Um, my Tumblr name back then it was Curly Toker and I was trying to be like all inclusive for all the ladies. So Pretty Tokers came about. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> so. Um, is there flavors or are you just like not flavors right now um the scent or the brand that we have coming out with endo is going to be called pretty natural because like i said like for me i just want to smoke the weed and taste the weed i don't yeah, yeah. want any extra flavoring real deal yeah real deal for sure very cool uh, <laughs> so when you got started what were some of the the biggest things you came some of the biggest obstacles you ran into as a female coming into the cannabis industry? Um, I feel like it's hard to do business with men sometimes yeah. or like they don't take me as serious. Uh -huh. um, also starting off, it's just me. So like financials is always hard. So it's like hard to figure out like how I would want to like grow, I guess, and in which direction I want to go. Um, so sometimes it's like discouraging, like how do I, do I still want to go and continue this? But then sometimes there's always like that one person's like, I love your brands or I've seen your brands somewhere and it keeps me going. <laughs> yes. Is there anybody who took you under their wing was like, come on, you can do this? Um, I mean, Enzo, they brought me out here today. Like this isn't, this is a new opportunity. Um, Mystery Baking, um, they definitely helped me. That was with them, my first convention at MJ BizCon. Um, cool. So this is my second convention now, and hopefully one day we'll have our own booth. You will. You will have your own booth. <laughs> For Next sure. Year, you will. For sure. Right, it's going to blow up. Is there any big things happening in New York with uh, the cannabis industry presently? Um, I mean, it just got legalized, and I know they're giving out a lot of licenses. Um, but as far as anything else, I'm not too sure, so I don't want to speak on it. Have, well, have you, what did you see happen this past year in New York? Um, so working in the black market, it definitely affected me because out there there's a lot of corner stores and delis right. and smoke shops and everywhere basically sells cannabis now right. and flowers so it's it super, jumped off this last year yeah right? it's been crazy so people who were like already working or in the market it kind of was just like they don't need to call you anymore because they could just walk a few steps and everyone, yeah, you could go outside. They pull up in a rap van, like, got you, right? <laughs> Not even. You could just walk to the deli. So Happening the same everywhere. place they sell sandwiches, you could yeah. get your weed now. Yeah. And especially, like, 
when you get off the train, they have tables set up. Yeah. So, and the police just walk by, yeah, like, and I'm like, what? Like, I think it's crazy, so. Yeah, that definitely affected, I feel like, a lot of people in the black market industry um, or the legacy market. Where do you want to see yourself a year from now um, with your brand? Where do you, where I do definitely, you see this brand a year from now? I definitely want to be like a home name. Um, I want all the girlies to love it and smoke it. Um, I have a lot of guys who are supporters as well. Um, definitely just more merch. More production. Pretty tokers. Pretty tokers. Pretty tokers. Pretty tokers. Papers. You got a, you got a everything. message for the ladies? Tell, um, tell these girls <laughs> why they need to be supporting pretty tokers. Um, I feel like you should support us because I'm a pothead. I'm super productive, and I feel like you could be a boss babe and smoke weed. So. <laughs> That's right. That's for right. sure. And what's your name again? Amber. And we find you where at? Uh, at Pretty Tokers official on Instagram. Can you say? Uh, Shout out to Wheat Snacks TV. Shout out to Wheat Snacks TV. Amber, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Many blessings.